11,010 pounds cruiser 345 BH back to us here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is one of the mid bunks that basically sparked the whole mid bunk craze. Uh, Open Range made the first mid bunk and it was too far ahead of its time. Nobody liked it. Then Cruiser said, I think we could do that. They put a spin on it and everybody loved it. And then suddenly, everybody started building mid bunks and this is the one that inspired the whole thing. Now I always try to pull no punches when I do these things. Structurally, mechanically, physically, the RV is fine. It needs a bath though. It could use a really good dusting inside and the outside it could use a good washing. Other than that, she's, she's good to go. Dual air conditioner, dual opposing living room slide, dedicated middle bunkhouse room. And this one is more of a middle bunkhouse. It doesn't have that loft, it doesn't have a den. Another thing it doesn't have is a dedicated kitchen island, which seems super uncommon but it leaves this thing looking and feeling huge. And as we walk around, you're gonna see it does have plenty of space. I do not remember if this was a standard factory seating arrangement or if this was a, uh, a thing the previous owners put together. Instead of a dining table and a sofa over here, you see how we have a hide-a-bed sofa with a folding table, which is funny because that's actually super popular nowadays instead of a dinette an individual recliner, and then over here, a second, even larger height of bed. So you have sleeper there, sleeper there, two big beds in the bunker, and plus master bed. And what's cool about this one, this can sleep a bunch of adults, not just kids, which is really cool. The lighter wood tones, they were a couple years ahead of the curve on that one. It doesn't look and feel so dark and dank and small and cramped in here. We'll look at the kitchen in better detail in a second. Up top, ceiling fan for airflow and a rain sensory max air vent fan back here near your primary seating space so you can always get some good air moving back here. Obviously, you see the TV can pivot around. We have pocket screwed cabinetry of hardwood cabinet doors and slide fascia. Um, Bluetooth DVD player below that, electric space heating fireplace, pretty common stuff. All of the windows open for airflow, and all of the windows are over here on the camp side of the RV. So you always get to look at your site, you don't have to look at your shirtless, sweaty neighbor. For all you know, I'm wearing pants and shirt right now, but you don't know. Not really. <laughs> We have a uh, set of, oh, where, where I, I pulled one down, roll down blackout shades here also. So if you want some privacy, you got it. Power outlets right on the rear wall is a really nice thing on these two. So it's always easy to have phone chargers and stuff handy. Plus, you'll see that there's outlets uh, around your seating within the slide. So once again over here, that sofa does open up into a sleeper. That table's free floating. You could fold it down like a coffee table, slide it over like an island, use it for dining. You can take it outside for picnic time. Um, and also, note that it still has overhead storage in the slide. It's amazing how many RV brands have removed cabinets from their slides. Now, it does offer bigger windows, but you lose storage, and that's not the problem here. And again, I said, even though we don't have an island, I don't think you're going to regret it in this kitchen. There's, you know, uh, a symmetrical kitchen set up with storage and uh, counter space, solid surface counter space at that on both sides of the larger 22-inch oven. And over here, stainless sink recessed over there with easy reach power outlets. Um, this also had a kind of a precursor to what you'd find in today's, um, you find a lot of tech packages in today's stuff. This is the precursor to that. It basically had its own handy little tablet that could control some stuff on the RV, which is pretty cool. Now over here, there's dual uh, swing open doors to our private bunk room. And this is a true like bunk bedroom. It's not a uh, like a loft, it's not an office, it's just a, a nice private room for sleeping. You got a ladder to get the kids to the upper bed. If you want, you can throw a TV here against the wall. And even though it's up high, there is some storage on both sides of the, uh, of the bed. And like I said, it just needs dusted a little bit. And I will give you a pro tip. Um, your uh, slide controls and stuff are kind of hidden over here, by the way. Well, um, put a sticker up here that says bunk room doors. Because if you're not paying attention, you can close that slide and punch a hole through that door with the corner of that bed. I know, because I did it on the very first one of these that ever came in, and I never, uh, you know, heard the end of it. <laughs> Moving upstairs, a little bit different bathroom arrangement, but uh, a good one. Plenty of space around that porcelain foot flush stool. Good countertop space in here with a double vanity, which is nice. And a big honking shower you can easily get into there. 
Um, sliding privacy door for the bedroom that you could always just keep locked down if you don't want anyone sliding that open. The dual entry bathroom was very popular and then kind of fizzled a little bit, but you know, there's easy ways around it. Second air installed here from the factory level, 60 by 80 queen bed. This was made before there was a lot of king bed requests. And that is a residential upgraded pillow top bed right there. That is not the original, it was called iCool Gel Memory Foam Combo Mattress, which actually wasn't bad. Now up here in the front closet, you can see some nice uh, symmetrical side to side storage. And the way this is set up, that's set up for a dryer vent over there. And um, I don't remember where the washer hookup. So basically, if you're looking for washer dryer setup, this is capable of accommodating. The lower bed bath deck, we have ourselves some pretty nice pass through storage. This is what would technically be called a in the mid profile category, but you know, she's a good size fifth wheel. Uh, power awning over here. And you might notice as we walk around, slide awnings were applied to the RV. So, uh, you know, some extra protection there. And again, unequivocally, she needs a bath. I mean, it needs it needs dusted and it needs wiped down inside. It needs a bath outside. Other than that, I don't really find anything on this RV that really concerns me. Um, a quick note, because this will throw a lot of people off. Um, this was made before every fifth wheel out there seemed to have automatic leveling. It has power leveling front jacks. It has power push button stabilizers in the back. So nothing is hard, but it's not automatic the way that a lot of them are nowadays. And of course, underbelly enclosed, insulated, heated, good extended season uh, setup there. You may have noticed that Equiflex shock dampening pin box. You actually see how um, like Cougars and Montanas are using that and a matching suspension system today. Cruiser was doing her back in, I don't know, 15, whatever this thing is. Uh, two inch receiver hitch on the back with a 300 pound uh, cargo rating, not intended for towing. Uh, it's just a uh, cargo accessory rack. And once again, tons of windows over here on the campsite. And we're gonna hop up to that roof. She needs cleaning, but at least you can see what everything looks like. And the biggest thing I wanted you folks to be able to see up here are the seals. Like I said, it needs a good cleaning up here for sure. The RV's been in storage since last fall. They haven't touched it since then and decided it's time to swap it out. It looks like they've already proactively resealed a couple of the vents. That looks factory, that looks aftermarket, but everything looks good. Low profile air conditioner up top, by the way, so that you're not gonna smash the bridge overpass on the highway when you're growing down the road, because, you know, that's a bad thing to have happen. So, as you can see, there really isn't much we don't have here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So you give us a call whether you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, or anything in between. Give us a call. We do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.